I feel like Body Labs definitely provides a missing component in the world of con new connectivity. Um, bodies are important for absolutely everything. Everything that humans have ever built interacts with the human body in some way, whether that's your range of motion, whether that's the fit of your clothing, whether that's what you're eating, everything affects your body. So we have to understand bodies better, how they change over time, how, how to make clothing fit better, how to have everything be made to your body, to your, your body uniquely, not just you know bodies in general, being able to have mass customization and being able to just make smarter body, smarter products that use the body as data to provide a smarter and more connected world. For online shopping, for example, we can take a body and that data to understand what size and what fit will be best for them. And then marketers can use that data to recommend different brands. And consumers can use that data to know what brands will fit them and what size to get, so you prevent having a million returns. I think that the advantage for advertisers is to be able to target the right people. You know exactly, you know, this pair of pants fits this type of person, and you know who those people are, and you can send the right advertisements to the right people. Um, and I think that, first of all, that'll be cheaper, but also people don't like having advertisements that, you know, they that feel that they're not relevant. They want something that actually helps them. And you want to have, you know, you want to have recommendations, not advertisements. And to do that, you have to be able to um, have more data about the body to know, you know, who to target. One of the problems with the connected world is, of course, more data is better, but smarter data is better. So if you're getting you know, a million advertisements per day, you're getting a million things in your email, your news feed is blowing up, you need data that is right for you. And to be able to feed the right data, it needs to be more intelligent and therefore you need to have it be more specialized. It needs to be a unique form of advertisement. It needs to be the unique shopping experience. It needs to be unique to your body. It needs to be unique to your tastes. Um, and this is just one part of the whole of making all the data right for you. Because we're on the edge, we haven't really figured out all the kinks in terms of like what's going to be private um, and then what's going to be shared and like where, well, there's no industry standard yet for privacy. Um, but I think that the most important thing is that, again, that the information is being processed by computers and not people. Um, that it's being anonymized, that it's statistical, and that it's not being saved in such a way that it's associated to you. I don't want there to be a file that says, Flora McDavid, you know, here's your water usage and electricity consumption and air conditioner hours and, you know, your body data, especially things as private as that, or like your internet usage. That shouldn't be stored as a, like together. But if it's anonymized and separated per industry with all the other data about, you know, what, air, what time people use air conditioners or what their bodies look like, then I think it's fine. So it's all about separating the information and having it processed statistically and not by the individual. If you're being overwhelmed with data, you're not going to listen anymore. So you want advertisements that are targeted for you. Um, and to do that, you need to have data about who that person is. And I think the body is a key component to that. You can then recommend the right sizes. You can recommend the right brands. You can recommend you know, even demographic information, all that comes from the body. You know, the age, gender, all that you can have just from a scan. Um, and you can have population statistics as well. So when you have more data about the human body, then you can feed them smarter advertisement because you know who they are and you know what will work for them. And then you're giving them recommendations instead of just, you know, giving them information that they don't want when they have too much already. Definitely privacy is one of the main challenges for, for advertisers today and you know, for the tech world, I think. Um, people are very reluctant to share information, even if it makes things smarter. So it's important to me know when, what's sharing, what will help you and what's too much sharing. I think that's one of the nice ways in which um, like we don't have like, people's faces or they're, you, know, you can't see that, it's just the body. So, that way you don't feel like it's like too personalized or too much privacy sharing, but uh, at the same time you can get the data that's right for you. You know, you don't need to know, have a picture of a person to get the right size, for example, or to get the right brands.